Hey everybody, this is Aaron with GeoAce here for another QGIS in the Field tutorial. Today we're going to be covering how to get the distance, uh, an attribute, and an ID of the nearest feature to any given point that you're putting on the map. Uh, it's a topic that you could probably spend hours Googling and get five different ways to do it. 75% uh, of them won't work, so I'm just going to show you in real time how, how I've found uh, the easiest way to do it. So. With that being said, let's go ahead and hop in and get started. This method works for point, line, or polygon, so it's a very valuable skill to have. What we're going to be specifically doing today is we're going to be um, finding the nearest zone as we add a plant species. So we're, uh, as I said earlier, uh, just to take a look at the zones, we're going to be um, getting the name of the zone, the ID of the zone, and then the distance from the new point that we create to the nearest uh, zone. So um, in order to do that, what we need to do is first we need to kind of set the stage with our plants layer. So let's go ahead and add in a couple fields for that. And let's go ahead and put new field. And then in that new field, let's put nearest zone ID. I think that FIDs are integer, so we'll keep integer. And then we'll add in a nearest zone name, which is going to be a text. And then last but not least, we're going to add in nearest zone distance. For the comment, I'm just going to go ahead and put that this is the distance is going to be the unit of measurement that your layer is in. So this is um, Web Mercator, which means it's going to be meters. And that's all we need to set the stage. Okay, so now that we have our fields added, let's go ahead and handle the automation on the form. So as everything else, we go to properties and we go to our attributes form, and then we're going to create a group. And we're just going to call that group nearest zone. And to that, that group, we're going to add the three fields that we just created, near a zone ID, near a zone name, and near a zone distance. And we just drag them right over top of the group that we just made. And this is going to be actually fairly easy to do. Um, let's start with the ID and then the name, and then we'll do the distance last. So the text edit widget is going to be fine for all of these. The more important thing is going to be the default value. So we're going to hit a checkbox for apply default value on update. We're going to go to an expression and then we're going to search for array underscore first because these functions we're about to implement return an array. So this is just kind of taking care of that for you and just getting the first string, if you will. The second thing that we're going to have nested inside of that is going to be our overlay underscore nearest. I always just prefer to close my parentheses, that way I don't forget any of it. And inside this overlay nearest, we just want to put the layer that we want to get the attributes from. So in this case, that layer is going to be our zones layer. The second parameter that we have to put in here is the um, field name that we want to retrieve. So in this case, I think we're on the ID first, so we're just going to put FID in uh, double quotes. It's very important that you put double quotes because single quotes will not work. All right, so FID, and that should be all that we have to do for this one. I'm just going to copy this because I'm going to just do a minor revision for the label. So I'm going to hit OK. And then we're going to go to nearest zone name. Uh, same thing, text edit is fine, apply default value and update, and then we're going to paste in what we just did. And then we're going to, instead of FID, the particular field name is label. So we just need to change the, the letters FID with the word label. And we're all set. And then finally here, a slightly different scenario, we actually want to get the distance from our new plants uh, observation to the zone. So um, text edit, again, is fine here, but our default value is going to be a little different. So we're going to have three nested functions here. So let's start inward and work outward. Let's put overlay nearest, since that's familiar. Let's do that. Let's close that up. And we're going to still just get the layer from zones. And then we're going to get 
Uh, in this case, we aren't actually referencing a field necessarily. We want to pull the geometry. So that is a dollar sign and then geometry. And you can see, you, you know that you've hit it once you look at your preview and you see this geometry polygon Z here. Outside of our overlay nearest, we are going to put our array first. And then finally, we're going to put distance. outside of that. And it looks like searching distance returns a lot of different results. So let's just, it's right here under geometry distance. And then we're going to hit a comma after the second parenthesis here. And the geometry two is pretty simple and straightforward. It's just at geometry. So important distinction, if you want the geometry of uh, the feature that's in a different layer, that's the dollar sign geometry. And then if you want the geometry of the current feature, the one that you just added, that's the at symbol and then the word geometry. But you can see here we have a preview that works just great. We're going to hit uh, OK. We're going to hit OK again. And we'll just test it out in here and then we'll just do a quick test in QField just to make sure it works. So right now we should be returning the properties of this particular zone. And it says that this zone is FID2 with a label of Walnut Ridge Park. So that's what should be coming up on our form. So let's go ahead and add that in and see what we get. You can see nearest zone down here and you can see FID of 2, Walnut Ridge Park, and then a distance of 49 meters. And we're going to measure that. And we are getting, oh, if you hit Cartesian, that's the kind of distance that it is. We're right around where we need to be. All right. We went ahead and implemented this successfully in QGIS. Let's just go ahead and test it in QField and call it a day. All right, so we have our project downloaded locally here. So all that's left to do is just to give this thing a test. Let's see it. Looks like we're already in edit mode. We have our plants layer highlighted. So let's add this in here. Go ahead and add it. And you can see right here near zone two, Walnut Ridge Park distance of 52 and let's just test it over here real quick too this should be near zone one near zone one planting zone and distance is 41 uh, give or take meters so uh, looks like everything is working as it should i guess let's just go ahead and make sure that it saves correctly just to make sure we'll pick any plant species we want to and then we'll hit check yep we are good to go all right. Well, thanks for watching this tutorial. If you have any suggestions for functionality in the future, let me know. Thanks for hanging with me and we'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.